Lakers have now won three in a row. I'm saying it right now. I think tonight was one of the better wins of the year when you consider no LeBron James, no AD, no Lonnie Walker. You return from a five-game road trip, and you beat the Miami Heat behind 32 from Dennis Schroeder. Okay. On three, everybody give me one <laughs> worthy clap because that was so good. One, two, go. three. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh sorry. man. That was, uh, that was. Uh, he meant just one, huh? Just, yeah, just, just one. one. Just one clap. Give as many as you want. Yeah. But that definitely deserves uh, uh, a, lot of, a, a lot of accolades there. I mean, uh, this has been building up, you know, for the last month or so. Uh, some of these role players who are getting a lot more time to play. And they've been playing well with LeBron. They played well with AD. And they're playing well together. And they came home off of a, a pretty successful road trip and decided that without LeBron and without AD, that they were going to toughen up and play together. I thought Bryant set the tone early. He played well. I thought Gabriel was very active early. Uh, of course, Westbrook, seven turnovers uh, in the first half. I don't think he had one. Uh, in the second half, maybe only one. And then Schroeder, uh, a guy who's uh, had a remarkable offseason performance in Germany, and then he's picking up the pieces with his quickness. I think he led this team. They played smart, Geeter. They played hard down the stretch. And uh, my hat's off to this team tonight for uh, picking off a, a pretty tough Miami team. You know, this, this is a big win for these guys. It's right. a, it's so why don't you get some comments in on that? It's a huge win. The um, fact that you had no LeBron, no AD, and no Walker, and you're coming off a long road trip. And that's the thing, because sometimes you can have that letdown after yeah. a long road trip because you relax. But they didn't relax tonight. They, had a, they played with a sense of urgency because they didn't have AD, because they didn't have LeBron and Walker. You know, if you look at the way Thomas Bryant, he came out and was aggressive tonight. You look at everybody on the team, they were aggressive from jump. Even when none got in the game, he was aggressive because a lot of times when you don't have those stars who, who take up much of the offense, you kind of sit back. You get used to sitting back, but not tonight. They took advantage of the opportunities. They were in attack mode, so was able to get up some good buckets and hold them under. 111 points. Oh, hey. <laughs> Coincidence that you were down there doing the yeah. pregame show. Exactly. We should do that more All often. Right. Good luck. Rez, where are you ranking this one? You, you know, this, this is actually, I think this might be like a season-turning event. All right? And I don't say those words lightly either. Look, the national narrative for this game, for someone who didn't watch it, would probably be like, you know, Miami, they didn't care. They beat the Clippers already in L.A. They didn't care. No, Miami cared. All their guys are healthy, which has been unusual for this team. All their stars were out there today. The Lakers were the team that could have rolled out the balls, said, you know, what? we're going to lose by 30, whatever. They didn't. Their defense kept them in it. You know, a guy like Schroeder turned his ankle so horribly with about five and a half minutes left to play, and all he did after that was score 14 points. By the way, made, uh, what, nine free throws in the yeah. final six minutes, five Watch. minutes? Unbelievable game by him. Uh, he's got his baby there. His whole family's happy. You know, I think a, a big U-turn right now. The Lakers can always point to this game and say, we can win without LeBron, without AD, without Lonnie Walker. And Troy Brown Jr. also got uh, hurt in that first half. He left the game. Big win tonight.